If you've been watching the economic news lately, then you've noticed that both gold and Bitcoin have recently crashed. Now, what do these two alternate forms of currency have in common? Gold posted its biggest one-day percentage drop in 30 years Monday. Gold futures for April delivery fell 9.4%. Since Thursday, gold prices have declined by more than $203 an ounce. The market sell-off continued early in trading in Tuesday in Asia, with Japan down 1.3%, Korea down 0.5%, and Australia down 0.8%. Gold also traded lower on the Tokyo Commodity Exchange, triggering circuit breakers because of the steep price drops. The gold route stemmed partly from where Cyprus and perhaps other nations may become sellers of the precious metal. Other price drags cited by traders included a sale recommendation on gold last week from Goldman Sachs Group Incorporated a uh, negative 1.61% and growing view that stocks are better investments due to continuing low inflation. Gold is an investment like any other investment. You buy it and you hope its value goes up and then you sell it for more money. That's the same way every investment works. Buy low, sell high. That's just the way it goes. Now, the problem is Gold has been perceived as never being able to lose value. Of course, it has lost value before, only slightly. Gold can lose value because people have it in their minds that there's some kind of intrinsic value within gold that means it could never lose its value, which is not true. Gold can lose value just like everything else can. This you know, adequately demonstrates that. Now, what about Bitcoin? Bitcoin was hailed similar to gold in that it was not a fiat currency. However, as we have seen, it is not invulnerable from bubbles and crisis any more than gold. Only a week ago, it seemed like Bitcoin could do no wrong. The digital currency's value sat against the US dollar, surged past $200, at one point reaching 270 Then suddenly, as many expected, the bubble finally popped and it all came crashing down. Bitcoin had an infrastructure problem. The website that facilitated its exchange was subjected to a DDoS attack, taking it offline. There was a massive sell-off of people who feared that there was something wrong with it. So they just dumped it. It increased in value just like a bubble until there was a crisis, a crisis in confidence in the currency. Then its value popped just like a bubble. There's other things wrong with the currency, but I'm sticking to this particular topic because of the situation that just happened. Now, what's relevant about them happening at the same time or relatively at the same time? Well, nothing really. It's just convenient for the sake of making a video. But what does this say about gold and Bitcoin? In the same week, the stateless currency philosophy of Bitcoin and primary commodity hoarding philosophy of the gold bugs both collapse due to their inability to grasp that these means of exchange or their management does not cause crisis, but the dynamics of the system which they facilitate causes crisis. Let me repeat that. Means of exchange or their management do not cause crisis, but the dynamics of the system which they facilitate causes crisis. Bitcoin and gold don't exist in an MMO, a massive multiplayer online game. They exist in the real world. There is not something intrinsically wrong with the money, but the system in which it operates. Whether you switch from a fiat currency to Bitcoin to gold, the dynamics of the capitalist system itself cause crisis. Changing the currency won't change that. They are subject to the same speculation bubbles that everything else is. Bitcoin itself isn't even a currency. It doesn't even act like a currency. It's an investment. You buy it, hope it increases in value, and then sell it. The vast majority of the ownership of Bitcoins is by investors, not people actually looking to do exchange. Because even they know it's not really any good for exchange. It's only good for investing in. What we learn here is that it is not the currency that is the problem. It is the dynamics of the system itself in which they exist that cause the problems.